Good evening, students, parents, members of the faculty, and members of the Pittman community. Welcome to the 2021 National Honor Society induction ceremony. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of the NHS chapter. For current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you two are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. Our chapter is proud to be inducting seven new members this evening, and with today's ceremony indicating the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent for our school and community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter serve as role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records which establish the eligibility for membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations and we serve our school and community through many activities including recycling initiatives, peer tutoring, food drives, and book collections. We are proud of this record of accomplishment and welcome these new members who bring new energy in support of our continuing work as NHS members. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Pittman High School chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. Members of the chapter will now review the history of the National Honor Society and the standards members strive to uphold. I now invite the president of NHS, Ashlyn McConnell, to light the candle of truth and knowledge. Now, our historian Nancy Davidson will explain the history of National Honor Society and its emblem. If a society with many chapters commends itself to the schools of a certain district because each is helped by the other, a nationwide society ought to be a stronger organization and receive support of all the schools that believe in such a society. Will not one common badge for the entire country be more valuable than many lo different local badges? Edward Wright Nearson made these remarks in support of a proposal to form a National Honor Society. He was the principal of the Fifth Avenue High School in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which was awarded chapter number one. The proposal was made in 1919 at a convention of the, of the National Association of Secondary School Principals. It came from a concern for the growing movement to emphasize academic and athletic activities. The resolution was finally passed on March 1, 1921, at the convention in Atlantic City. The determination of society standards was no easy task. The Constitution needed to be broad enough to permit a high degree of freedom for local chapters. After, consider after considerable discussions, the four virtues were accepted as the basis for, this, for the society. The National Honor Society has demonstrated that it is a concrete way to promote high, high school academic standards as a means of ensuring the continuation of democracy and an instrument for the betterment of the individual and the school. Today, there are more than 12,500 chapters. Tonight, we are also proud to be celebrating the 100th anniversary of National Honor Society. On our slideshow, you will find the emblem of the National Honor Society, the keystone with the flaming torch. This insignia was first described by E.J. Easton, a member of the First National Council in 1921. He said, as the keystone is placed by the builder to hold the perfect arch in stability, so the structure of our education must be held firm and true to the purpose of life by the virtues represented in the symbol. These virtues designated by the letters CSLS, which the keystone bears, stand for the four cardinal principles of the society, character, scholarship, leadership, and service. Thus, each member is obligated to bear forward the searching of truth to lead that others may follow in the light, to keep burning in our school a high ambition for the enduring values of life and to give service. And now our president, Ashlyn McConnell, will introduce the Senior Mentor Spotlight. During our time at Pittman High School, the adults here instruct us on a variety of subjects, math, English, history, science, the arts, and athletics. 
We take notes in their classes, we listen to their lectures, we participate in discussions, we heed their feedback, and then under their guidance, we develop our own ideas. But these educators do not only teach us lessons about the curriculum they present, they teach us by example. Each year, the senior members have the option of selecting a mentor, an educator who they feel models the four pillars of National Honor Society character, scholarship, leadership, and service to honor in our mentor spotlight. We will now share the way in which each mentor inspires and reflects the pillars of National Honor Society to the students who nominated them. Hi, my name is Riley Capanna. I am the secretary of NHS and my senior mentor is Miss Nichols. I have worked very close with Senorita um, all four years of me being in high school. I started out with her my freshman year in student council and I worked with her in student council for the past four years. And then I had the privilege of being her student for Spanish um, the past two years, so my junior year and this year. Um, and Senorita is a very special woman. She is such a positive light. She is so energetic, so happy all the time. And she really sets a good example for the students at PHS. She has so much school spirit and she genuinely loves and cares for her students. She always wants the best for them. I strive to be like Senorita a lot because she is so passionate about her job and is so hardworking and is so talented. And I just hope that when I graduate and go on to college to pursue a career that I am able to put 110% of myself into my job the way Senorita does. She has such a positive impact on people's lives that I don't even know if she realizes it, but she really does. Senorita not only strives to make PHS a better place for her students and the faculty, but she also strives to make the community a better place, regardless of if it's the people in the school or within the town or the county or the state or the country. She is always looking to better the people around her. It's very admirable that Senorita is going back to school to get her master's because she is not only a teacher, she's the advisor of student council. She is also the advisor for the sophomores and she works very closely with her students, especially her AP students and the students who take the biliteracy exam. So just for her to have such a full plate and also have another job on the side, um, it's very admirable. Senorita is a very hardworking. Uh, I've said it once, I'll say it a million times. She is the hardest working woman I know. And I hope that I can follow in her footsteps even just a little bit. I would like to honor my field hockey coach, Miss Pinkway, as she demonstrates many admirable qualities, all that align with the National Honor Society pillars. She is a leader in many ways, but most notably her coaching abilities. She knows exactly how to build up her players and make them strive to be the best they can be, not only as athletes, but as people too. Coach Pinkway has coached sports for many years, giving back to the students of Pittman High School and demonstrating service in just about every aspect of the word. She can be very passionate about matters that are important to her and stays true to her beliefs, inspiring those around her to be unflinching in their own beliefs and character as well. Although she is a coach, her first priority is to make sure her athletes keep good grades, encouraging us to communicate with our teachers, seek help from tutors, and even ask upperclassmen and teammates for help with subjects in which we might be struggling. I truly cannot think of someone who exemplifies leadership, service, character, and scholarship more than Coach Pinkway. Hi, my name is Katrina Galvin. I chose Coach Swank to be my senior mentor. Um, she is my, she's been my soccer coach for four years now, and I've had her in gym for all four years too. She's definitely a great leader because she puts so much into our team. She is always a positive figure at every practice and game. Um, all the girls on the team look up to her. Um, and her character really shines through because even when there are a lot of tough games and even when we're not doing our best, she's always picking us up and showing us positivity through difficulty. Hi, I'm Angelina Harris and I chose Mr. Casey as my senior mentor. 
Over the past four years at Pittman High School, Mr. Casey has been a really special person in my life. Every day, he reminds us all that it's our choice if our day will be good or bad and how we want it to go. He's, he's a great leader in our school community, and all of the students here at PHS really look up to him. He brings a positive atmosphere to our school, and he makes class and learning very fun, and I really appreciate him. And, and always remember, have a great day or not, the choice is yours. As an NHS mentor, I'd like to recognize Senorita Nichols. I've been in student council with her for four years and Spanish classes with her for three years. As a Spanish teacher, she's always been really dedicated and active in making sure that we all learn a lot and are always using what we've learned in assignments in class. So we've all developed our abilities a lot in Spanish. And in student council, she's been an integral part of like leading us and advising us, especially during the coronavirus pandemic and this year when it's been really challenging trying to bring everything back after a year where we weren't able to do as much as we wanted to. This year, I chose Ms. Marone as my mentor for NHS. Ms. Marone is a great example of scholarship, character, leadership, and service. Just in the first few months of this year, she's taken the time and effort to help resolve any issues I have and when she doesn't know the answers, she goes out of her way to immediately find the answer. She takes initiative to solve any issues that arise. She has been there to listen and comfort me through any troubles I have. She brings fun and happiness to any situation she is in with her optimistic attitude. Miss Marone has been someone that I can rely on this year, and that is why I chose her to be my mentor. Hi, my name is Ashley McConnell, and I chose Mrs. Collum as my senior mentor. Mrs. Collum has had such a positive impact on my life since the first day of middle school. She exhibits a million positive traits as a teacher, and the one that sticks out to me the most is her ability to be such a caring and empathetic person. I want to take a moment and let you know how much you are appreciated. Few people possess the passionate, nurturing, loving heart that you have. I thank you for your kindness and being such a wonderful inspiration to me. Hi, my name is Lauren Morris and my senior mentor is Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas is a very hardworking teacher and he always wants the best for his students and the kids that he coaches in softball and football. He brings a very positive attitude and is always looking to brighten up the days of everyone around him. He has greatly impacted my years at Pittman High School by just making each day more positive for me and my peers. I have chosen Mr. Newcomb as my senior mentor spotlight because from English class to the soccer field, he has truly made an impact on who I am. Personally, he has shown me and guided me to realize what a true leader looks like every day. Besides, his dependability as a mentor and his eagerness and excitement to teach deserves to be spotlighted. For the inductees, the principles of the National Honor Society will now be explained to you. The candle burning here before you represents the flaming torch, the epitome and the synthesis of all of our goals. The unlighted candles are symbolic of the four requirements upon which election to this society is based. The wardens of these four principles, scholarship, character, leadership, and service, will in turn define the meanings of their stations. I would now like to introduce to you our Vice President, Cole Sharpner, who will light the red candle of character and explain its meaning. Character is the positive force in each person, which makes one individual if distinguished from all others. Without self-pride, no person can have self-respect or hope to earn the respect of others. It is this force of character which guides us through life, responding with heroism, understanding, sympathy, or tolerance to the demands upon us. It is not achieved and not received. It is the daily striving of self-discipline so that choices are based on morality and decency, and not solely upon self-interest or opportunity. We must really be what we wish others to perceive us as. By demonstrating this in our daily lives, we may hope to prove by example our respect for character. And now, our treasurer, Angelina Harris, will light the purple candle of scholarship and explain its meaning.
scholarship is a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study because he or she knows the lasting benefits of a curious and cultivated mind. We hope to continue to learn even when our formal education has ended, for we have for we honor wisdom and we know it can be acquired only through our diligence and effort. Learning is a lens through which we observe the past, its glories, and its disasters. Learning is a lamp which illuminates the future and has many paths lying before us. Learning lays a bare and the last treasures of humanity's heritage and links to wisdom. If we understand what we have learned, we hope that the pursuit of knowledge will be for us a never-ending feast. Now, Violet Trapana, our secretary, will light the yellow candle of service. Service, together let us serve. A willingness to help and an unselfish devotion make life better, happier, and more fulfilling as we work together for the common good. To lose oneself in enthusiasm for good and vital purposes without thought of recompense or remuneration brings its own rewards. Service does not flaunt itself. It is a simple giving and sharing of one's energies and one's abilities wherever there is need. The gift of ourselves is our commitment to a better tomorrow. Much has been given to us. We should like to give as much as we can to others. And now the president will light the green candle of leadership. We are all challenged today as never before in a desperate search for leadership for men and women who combine that indefinable charisma with wisdom, character, and the desire to serve. The price of leadership is sacrifice, a willingness to yield one's personal interests to the interest of others. Not every person is gifted with the capacity to lead. To those who are, we say, you have a great talent and an even greater re responsibility. Use your talents wisely. Let mankind be the beneficiary of the better society which your efforts can bring about. You have shown leadership in your school life. Accept the greater challenge after you leave these halls and continue to be leaders of whom we can all be proud of. And now our vice president will explain the purpose of the National Honor Society. The purpose of the National Honor Society is to create an enthusiasm for scholarship. All members must maintain a weighted GPA of 90 or higher without rounding. To stimulate a desire to render service. Members are to donate at least 10 hours of service per semester in an area of their own talents such as tutoring, teacher aides, scouting, Red Cross, hospital work, 4-H, and other areas. To promote leadership. Members that have been selected as captains, managers, band leaders, directors of plays, chairpersons of committees, officers of various clubs and organizations. Members will learn the constitution and bylaws of the National Honor Society and abide by them. And lastly, to encourage the development of character in the students of Pittman High School. And now the National Honor Society officers will read a poem. What is a candle? A candle is but a simple thing. It starts with just a bit of string. Yet dipped and dipped with patient hand, it gathers wax upon the strand. Until complete and snowy white, it gives at last a lovely light. Life seems so like that bit of string. Each deed we do a simple thing. Yet day by day on life's strand, we work with patient heart and hand. It gathers joy, makes dark days bright, and gives at last a lovely light. So hold high the torch, you did not light its glow was given to you by others you know. Tis only yours to keep burning bright so others can gaze upon the light. And as it passes to them someday, they will understand and say, the example that you have been will help them find the strength within to be the best that they can be and pass on the light eternally.
inductees. You have heard the definition of each of the four qualities which exemplifies a member of the Pippin High School National Honor Society. I ask you to light a candle to indicate your commitment to these principles and your acceptance of the motto of the society. Noblesse oblige the obligation to behave honorably, generously, and responsibly. Inductees, please recite after me the pledge of National Honor Society. I pledge myself to uphold the high purpose of this society for which I have been selected. Striving in every way, by word and deed, to make its ideals, character, scholarship, leadership, and service, the ideals of my school and my life. I pledge to maintain high scholastic standards to hold as fundamental and worthy in untarnished character to endeavor intelligently and courageously to be a leader and to give myself freely in service to others. In doing so, I will provide myself worthy of a place in the National Honor Society. You may now extinguish your candles. to invite the principal of Pittman High School to share a message to the new inductees. Good evening and welcome to the 2021 Pittman High School National Honor Society virtual induction. My name is Dr. Sherry Lombardo and it is my honor and privilege to congratulate the new and current members of the Pittman chapter. Through your leadership, service, character, and scholarship, you have gone above and beyond not only to be recognized by Pittman High School but by a national organization. So on behalf of the staff and administration and the community in which you live in, we wanna congratulate you for going above and beyond every single day. Your successes are many and they will continue to be many. Once again, thank you for everything that you have done and congratulations. And now to conclude tonight's program. Congratulations to our newest members. You have been recognized for your outstanding achievement and as scholars and leaders who are willing to set the standard for your peers. We have an exciting year ahead of us with more opportunities to get involved, serve our community, and have fun together. I thank you for continuing to put others first. I also want to thank you, the families, for teaching and setting the example for your students. It is through you that they first learned to set goals and work to achieve them. Let's end the night with a round of applause for all of our wonderful members. We are here to celebrate you.